Here's five popular but trash pieces of relationship advice that everyone thinks are healthy but are actually toxic as hell. And I'm going to outline how an abuser will weaponize relationship advice like this. Now, the last one, in my view, is the most dangerous and the most common. The first, love means sacrifice. Compromise is crucial, but in an abuser, they take this to the extreme. They manipulate victims into constantly prioritizing their needs while neglecting your own well-being and creating this imbalanced dynamic of giving and taking. The sacrifices actually become really detrimental. You compromise your identity, your sanity, and your safety. You should forgive and forget. And yeah, forgiveness is valuable for healing, but it shouldn't enable just repeated toxic or abusive behavior. But an abuser is going to exploit this advice to evade accountability, demand forgiveness without actually addressing the root causes or making any changes. Victims are trapped in this cycle of abuse and they're constantly told to forgive even when the behavior it persists. So some people say that you can forgive without an apology and this is subjectively true, but you can't forgive while the behavior continues to repeat. And this works even better on people of faith because forgiveness has that really huge role in religious beliefs. The third is your partner should always come first. This advice is really harmful because it leads to isolation from friends and from your family. And abusers actually use it to control their victim's social interactions and prevent them from seeking support or validation from other people. Gaslighting even further undermines the victim's trust in themselves and prioritizing the abuser's needs above their own. The fourth is jealousy is just a sign of love and should be considered flattering. <laughs> While some jealousy might be kind of normal, extreme possessiveness and jealousy, they're unhealthy. They're abusive. Abusers justify controlling behaviors like monitoring your every move, invading your privacy, and isolating you from other relationships by calling it jealousy. Insecurities are weaponized to manipulate the victim's behavior. And lastly, the one that I am the most passionately against, keep disagreements private in your relationship. While it's important to maintain privacy and obviously handle conflicts respectfully in a healthy relationship, this advice is harmful because it suppresses genuine emotions and it prevents victims from being able to even recognize that they're being abused. Too many victims report that they didn't even know that it was abuse. So someone who's abusive will actually weaponize this advice and manipulate their victims into hiding their feelings and experiences from friends and family because it's kind of like this facade of we're really happy, but the abuse continues behind closed doors. And effectively, it silences the victim. It prevents them from seeking support or exposing their abusers. Abuse happens in silence, and this can be used as an isolation tactic. So before anyone comments that victims should seek therapy, therapists are not specifically trained to spot covert domestic abuse. Victims don't even have the language to explain it to the therapist. And not to mention, therapy is actually a privilege that most people don't even have access to. Not to mention the stigmas around getting mental health support or the fact that abusers don't even let their victims go to therapy half the time. I want to know what relationship advice that you've been given that has been used as a weapon against you. Stronger.